There are 30 kilometers left, and things will now start to get serious. The Col de la Fort La Climb should see the top riders come to the fore, and with any luck, the first mano a mano between favorites. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, we'll relay hard. The first rider to the top will score 10 more points towards the climber standings.
Okay, I'll consume a speed. Okay, I'll consume a speed. The riders can try to recover during the seven kilometer descent that leads to the foot to the final climb of the day. Okay, we'll relay hard. The first riders are at the foot of the final climb to Fino Emoson, 10.4 kilometers at an average of 8.4%. It's a very difficult climb, with ever-increasing percentages as the summit approaches. Riders will have to be patient and keep enough energy in reserve, especially to face the last three kilometers, which are absolutely horrific. Okay, 
Okay, we'll relay hard. The finish is classified as first category and the points will be doubled. The winner will thus add 20 points to his tally for the mountain standings. I'll go full out on the relay. Okay, I'll avoid any extreme effort. Okay, I'll consume a feed. I'll make a big effort on the relay. The front of the race is into the last five kilometers. Slopes over 10% will become more and more frequent. Okay, if the pace is too fast, I won't insist. I'll go full out on the relay. The race leaders are less than four kilometers from the summit. I'll go full out on the relay. We're into the last three kilometers. The slope will continue to get steeper. A little over two kilometers left for the man at the front. He can see the red pennant in the distance. Okay, we'll consume a feed. Oh. 
The man at the front is under the red pennant. His pursuers are not far away. Hopefully he won't run out of steam. The slopes are still severe. He tops the standings and will receive the traditional honours. Here's the yellow jersey. Let's hope for his sake. He is in sparkling form and you can clap him loudly. Here's the green jersey of this Tour de France. We can say that everything is going well for him at the moment. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. He is in sparkling form and you can clap him loudly. Here's the white jersey of this Tour de France.
Hi guys, let's start the briefing for this stage. Today it's a time trial which is important for the general classification. We have the last rider at the start of this individual time trial. He'll do his utmost to produce the best time. Come on, let's give him a hand. Today is a mountain time trial. You're going to have to manage your efforts so you don't seize up before the top. It will start to climb after the next bend. It is very steep, right from the start. Go, go! The next intermediate time is in one kilometer. We'll see if you're on the pace. No relaxing. Go, go, go. 
There's a big percentage after the next bend. It doesn't last long. Don't panic. Come on, try to get a bit of a breather. There's a kilometer of flat before the final ramp. The final ramp is 1.5 kilometers, and then it's downhill to the finish. It's finally downhill. Full out to the line. Watch out in the last kilometer. Remember, we spotted a dangerous bend during reconnaissance. Go! Go! Keep on pumping to the end. This stage is his. He was the strongest. Here is the winner of the Briançon Isoir stage. Tom! He tops the standings and will receive the traditional honors. Here's the yellow jersey. Tom! We can say that everything is going well for him at the moment. Here's the green jersey of this Tour de France. He is in sparkling form and you can clap him loudly. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. We can say that... Well done, lads. Congratulations to you. We were amongst the outsiders, but you managed to beat the favorites. Well done for this win. Hi guys, let's start the briefing for this stage.
Hello everyone. We're in for a restless stage today. With less than 150 kilometers and five climbs in store, there won't be a shortage of attacking opportunities. Enough, lads. There's no way we can lose the green jersey today. It's good. It's looking good. You've got over a minute's lead on the peloton. The riders are barely out of Albertville, and already they begin the ascent of the cold Tamier. He is one of the best punchers, but he's also very comfortable in the mountains. The first six riders at the top will pocket the points towards the polka dot jersey. There will be 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 and 1 point to be gained. The breakaway can't widen the gap. The time gap between the peloton and the escapees is stationary. Here's the positions over the last climb.
The front of the race starts the ascension of the Col de la Fauclare from Montmain, the second climb on today's menu. There will be 10 mountain jersey points for the riders first over the top. The front of the race is two kilometers from the summit. The time gap between the peloton and the escapees is stationary. Here's the positions over the last climb. The gap with the yellow jerseys melting away. The escapees will have difficulties going all the way. He asked his teammates to maintain the tempo. He must feel on form today. The breakaway is increasing its lead over the yellow jersey, but there's no worry as it contains no big guns for the overall standings. Yes, there's not a lot going on. Understood. I'll take it easy, whatever happens. I think his team has taken on the chase in order to place one of their guys in the breakaway. The front of the race is two kilometers from the summit. Here's the positions over the last climb. Allez, 
Understood. I'll take it easy, whatever happens. The gap with the yellow jerseys melting away. The escapees will have difficulties going all the way. The breakaway is at the foot of an untested climb, La Monte de Bissan. With 12.4 kilometers at over 8%, it could prove decisive. It's a very demanding climb especially in the last kilometers, where the slope regularly goes over 10%. The gap isn't changing much. The Monte de Bizan is classified at all category. The first 10 riders to the top will therefore pick up points. The first will pocket 25 points. I'll consume a feed. Okay, 
I'll consume a speed. Understood. I'll take it easy, whatever happens. I'll go full out on the relay. He asked his teammates to maintain the tempo. He must feel on form today. The gap with the yellow jersey is melting away. The escapees will have difficulties going all the way. He's got his guys riding. He must have good legs. over the last climb. Teammate has just been dropped. You can't count on him any longer. Understood. I'll take it easy, whatever happens. The breakaway is being reeled in. It will be difficult to withstand the return of the yellow jersey. The descent is over for the front of the race.
It now enters the feeding zone. Okay, I'll avoid any extreme effort. First riders have reached the intermediate sprint. Intermediate sprint. The lead rider has one minute thirty on the favourites. The head of the race has one and a half minutes lead on the yellow jersey. The gap is one minute between the favourites and the guy in the front. Most riders should be in familiar territory, as the final sequence of climbs is identical to that of the Criterium du Dauphiné in 2015. I'll make a big effort on the relay. The race leaders are at the base of the Côte des Amarons. The breakaway is now getting down to business. They'll have to hold off the favourites for as long as possible. The lead rider has 30 seconds on the favourites. 30 seconds between the breakaway and the yellow jersey. Oh, my God. 
the race lead launches itself on the Monte de Betex. Okay, we'll consume a feed. I'll make a big effort on the relay. Only five kilometers left. Go, go, again! Watch out, there's an attack. He's attacking! The mountain jersey points are doubled for this summit finish. The stage winner will gain 20 points towards the polka dot jersey. He's attacking! At less than three kilometers from the finish, nothing is guaranteed for the man in front. He's still under threat of being caught by his pursuers. is in sight for the man at the front of the race. The breakaway is one kilometer from the finishing line. The gap between the favorites group and the front is 30 seconds. Okay, if the pace is too fast, I won't insist.
He is in sparkling form and you can clap him loudly. Here's the yellow jersey. Tom Let's he tops the standings and will receive the traditional honor. He is in sparkling form and you can clap him loudly. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. He will climb onto the podium to receive his jersey and a kiss from the hostesses. Well done, guys. It's a nice podium place today. I wasn't expecting such a performance on this stage. Once again, well done. Hi guys! Hello cycling fans everywhere. 
If it's obvious that a win today will require the talents of a climber, it's not impossible to also imagine that everything will be settled on the final descent to Morzine, the finish of this alpine stage. Good enough, lads. There's no way we can lose the green jersey today. It's good. Understood. I'll take it easy, whatever happens. Thirty seconds lead. He's more of a climber, but he's far from competing on level terms with the top names of the Tour. It looks like you're going it alone. Good luck. Counter-attack inside the peloton. He's a teammate without ambitions for the overall standings. You're one minute thirty ahead of the peloton. It's looking good. You should perhaps be waiting for the group behind. It will be easier if there are several of you. He's an excellent puncher who also knows how to climb in the mountains. On the other hand, it's better for him that he finishes alone because his capabilities as a sprinter really are limited. His team is at full throttle. They have no one at the front. Keep an eye on him. He's the best climber in the breakaway. It prevents our competitors from stealing too many points. He's the best placed in the overall standings amongst those at the head of the race.
He's the highest placed of the climbers in the breakaway. His team is at full throttle. They have no one at the front. There will be 10 mountain jersey points for the riders first over the top. You are two kilometers from the summit. Watch your opponents. It prevents our competitors from stealing too many points. I think his team has taken on the chase in order to place one of their guys in the breakaway. You're coming up to the intermediate sprint. Keep your eyes open. I think his team has taken on the chase in order to place one of their guys in the breakaway. The gap with the yellow jersey is melting away. The escapees will have difficulties going all the way. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed.
The ascent of the Col de Ramar will soon begin. Nearly 14 kilometers long, with a slope at 7.1%. It's a real test to see who's on form today. The gap with the yellow jerseys melting away. The escapees will have difficulties going all the way. I'll consume a feed. It's your teammate who's the most dangerous for the overall standings in the breakaway. Whatever happens. our competitors from stealing too many points. The breakaway increases its lead on the yellow jersey group. Okay, I'll protect him. Got his guys riding. He must have good legs. The breakaway is being reeled in. It will be difficult to withstand the return of the yellow jersey. One and a half minutes lead for the head of the race over the favourites.
Okay, I'll consume a feed. Understood. I'll take it easy, whatever happens. I'll make a big effort on the relay. Okay, I'll put in a big acceleration. There's one minute thirty on the favourites. It's relatively short for a pass classified as all category, but it's very steep, with an average percentage of 
okay. If the pace is too fast, I won't insist. The time gap with the head of the race isn't changing, lads. The riders up front have a one-minute lead on the favourites group. The yellow jersey group is one minute from the head of the race. Riding hard. Stay well placed. Even though it's not a summit finish, the points at the top of the Zhu plan will be doubled for the polka dot jersey. seconds between the breakaway and the yellow jersey. The gap between the favourites group and the front is 30 seconds. The lead rider has 30 seconds on the favourites. I'll avoid any extreme effort. Okay, I'll consume a feed. I'll relay. Okay, I'll avoid any extreme effort. The road will rise after the summit towards the Col du Ranfoli. 
It's only afterwards that the descent to Morzine actually begins. Okay, I'll consume a speed. One kilometer from the summit, and nobody's managed to get away on their own. Will someone manage to break clear on the way down? The stage may not be won on the descent, but it can still be lost on the many bends that lead to Morzine. The slightest mistake will be fatal. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. Less than two kilometers from the finish. Collective fall. It may create gaps. The red pennant is in sight for the front of the race. It is the red pennant. One more kilometer of effort. Thank you.
He succeeded in avoiding all the pitfalls to win today. Here is the winner of the Marseille, Marseille time trial stage. He is in sparkling form and you can clap him loudly. Here's the yellow jersey. He will climb onto the podium to receive his jersey and a kiss from the hostesses. Here's the green jersey of this Tour de France. He will be able to hang this jersey in his trophy room. Let's hope for him that he can add more. He's amongst the leading riders this year. Here's the polka dot. He will climb onto the podium to receive his jersey and a kiss.
It's the final stage, guys. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. The final stage on the Champs-Élysées is always one of the most coveted. In the past, sprinters seeking the prestige of a victory in Paris have sometimes been caught off guard. But it hasn't happened very often. With the specialists who currently dominate the discipline, it's an even more demanding challenge. Riders have just set out and already there's an attack. The breakaway has 30 seconds lead. The first riders are entering the Champs Elysees circuit. Watch out for him. He's a real puncher who can come out on top on any finish with a short climb. But he can also rely on a good turn of speed if there's a group finish. The circuit goes round the Jardin des Tuileries, taking the tunnel. The riders emerge onto the Rue de Rivoli and return towards the finishing line. The breakaway is losing ground. The race leaders cross the line. They still have three laps to go. The gap is increasing. We don't need to ride for now. There's nobody dangerous for us in the breakaway. Breakaway's over. It's start all over again. Two more laps. The end of this tour is not far off. in a mass sprint. I'm counting on you to win the stage and strengthen our hold on the green jersey.
Okay, we'll consume a feed. Just five more kilometers. Get ready to sprint. We must win to secure the green jersey. Last passage through the tunnel for the peloton. You have to be well placed. Riders who are beyond 30th will have too much to do to catch up and hope to win. Tension is at its maximum. The lead ant riders will soon peel off to open the way for the sprinter. Bunched peloton. The final sprint of the Tour de France is on. This stage is his. He was the strongest. Here is the winner of the Champs-Élysées stage. Congratulations to him. He really was the strongest. He fully deserves this prestigious victory. He succeeded in avoiding all the pitfalls of the route while mastering his rivals. But here's the grand victor of this Tour de France. this great victory. We applaud him loudly. He becomes part of cycling history. Consistent throughout this tour, he managed to score enough points to dominate his rivals. It's time for the best sprinter to receive the green jersey. Always present at the front, we can say that he has laid his mark upon the race and that this polka dot jersey is a just reward for all the efforts he has made. Now, we will welcome the best climber of this edition. With this jersey on his shoulders, there's no doubt that we should see him play a leading role for a few more years. We now welcome the white jersey of this tour. Well done, lads! Congratulations to you! We weren't even amongst the outsiders, can you imagine? Well done for this win!
Oh, 